Hello everyone, welcome to another video with me, you and our Android. We are now on to a new, new series on Age of History 2, No Longer Civilizations, History. And I am playing as Italy this time, on the World War 2 scenario. And as you also can see, I now have a camera, so you can actually see what I'm doing, I guess. Though, for the most part in these videos, I guess I'll be just staring at my screen, not even talking, considering that's what happens when I go into concentration mode. So, yeah. And just to let you all know, there is quite a bit of lag in this video. Sadly, not much I can really do about it, but hey, yeah, that's just how bad my computer is. Yeah. Also start off this. This is my stuff for this and also my technology points. This, this is how I set that all up. 20 into military upkeep and then 12 into population growth and economy growth. So yeah, first episode here. Didn't really plan exactly what I was going to do, so I'm kind of thinking Albany, Albania, Yugoslavia, or just go straight down here for Albanesia. Albanesia, just because. Yeah. And, well, let's see. Of course, I'm going to have to build up money first, so I'm going to do that. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's see. I should be able to take over the entirety of the Balkans here, which at that point put me on e even standing grounds against France, the United Kingdom, or and the Soviet Union alone. But I want to be able to go up against multiple countries at the same time, so... Eh, whatever. But, just built up a bit of money right now. And I should be able to actually get started on some stuff here. No, to be honest, I really do think I kind of want to just go and do this just because. And the fact that they are quite literally the one of two countries that are actually independent over here in Africa. The rest of it is completely divided up by other European countries. So, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Money. 40,000 for 8,000 troops. Okay. Just to take a quick look over here at Abinesia. That's four there and three. Okay, so seven provinces I need troops to be defending. Okay, and Abanisha shouldn't be too strong to be honest. Considering they don't really have that much for population along the border, I guess. No, they still could definitely be a bit of a threat to me, I guess. Just due to all that. And the fact that this game isn't all that realistic. So I guess I'll just go ahead and continue building up more money. Maybe go to like 30 turns in. Maybe. Okay, there. Basically got 200,000 money now. Also, if you notice that a bit of black in my first few minutes there, well, that's just because my computer is just horrible. Uh, well, troops first. I got to get that map mode thing here set up. Okay, good about population. Let's see. 
Rome, of course. There we go, Florence. Recruit troops here. And sends them to Rome for now, I guess. Considering it's the only province that has support. Once I have all of them there, I guess I'll just send them all over to Abanesia. So that's 37 or something. Got seven provinces there. Okay. Can't exactly get 5,000 in each province, but it'll still be a decent amount, I guess. Okay. Start off with 4,000 for this. Yeah, 18 turns to get over there. In that case, I'm just going to ignore it. Because I'm not spending that long sending troops over there. Come on. There we go. Now. All of these troops, then I guess I will send over here to attack Abanesia. I mean Albania, Albania, not Abanesia. That's the African country I was going to take over. Before I decided to go not do it. Okay. Albania! You're going to be the first to fall. Send ultimatum to Albania. There we go. And they accepted it just like that. I didn't even have to invade them. Nice. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, sure. I'll put 2,000 in each of these. Put 2,000 there. Okay, and then the rest will just be split up over here evenly. There we go. Okay. Ah, Yugoslavia. Next up. Okay. Send the single insult I need to send before I can do this ultimatum. Here we go. They do not accept. Okay, sure. I will invade you then. Three provinces to attack there. Eh. I'll just let those troops just sit there for right now. So that army does have to split up so much. There we go. And next turn. Uh, let's see. That's province there. There we go. That will not, those troops will not go there, they'll go right there instead. Okay. I already have a third of Yugoslavia under my control. Who 
Ooh, there, there. There's their army. Okay, sure. Next turn. Hopefully, I can do a number to those troops. That they have right there. Okay, down to 3,000. Good. Next turn. And that's their capital gone as well. So now it's just to finish this up then. Nice. Okay. And final turn for this war. There we go. There. Okay. That's this war complete. With Yugoslavia. Take all. There we go. Next turn and done. So now province stability for this. And die. Out of money. Great. Lost a third of my army already by the looks of it. Okay. There we go. That is Yugoslavia and Albania both taken over. Just like that. So, next episode, maybe go after Greece and Bulgaria. And maybe Romania, if I can do it that episode as well. Maybe Hungary as well. See about those four countries Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, and Greece. Yeah. Okay. So. One thing I want to check right quick, okay. How many troops can I actually recruit over here? Six thousand there. Okay. I could recruit a small army, I guess. Yeah, whatever. But that's that. Uh, I think will be the end of this video. It's a bit short, but I don't really want to push this thing any longer. So yeah, that's that. Uh, is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.